Class Pairs Final. John Arishida and Tammy Giroux are first competing pair. From Santa Ana, California, John is 20, Tammy is 20. You saw her earlier in the women's single. She placed second. Skate Ranch is their skating club. John's been skating for 11 years and Tammy for 12. They're the current World Pairs champions. And you know, Debbie, this year they look like the World Pairs champions. They're skating to George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue as it's reflected in their outfits. And this year, different than other years, they've come to this competition with an air about them, as if, watch us, we're the best in the world, and we're gonna show you. You know, it's interesting that in 85, they were the silver medalists at the National and then went on to win the title at the World Championship. But in 84, they were national champions. John and Tammy are strong in all phases of the competition. They're strong in lifts and jumping, spinning. They move well across the rink. And this year, they interpret well. They have a beautiful program. They represent roller skating very well. Watch this, throw double loop. Wow. Double loops together. Wow, incredible. Tim, what is the difference between pair skating and world-class dance? Well, in pair skating, of course, it's much more athletic. Pair skating is single skating by two people as a pair, as a unit. And dance skating is just as the title says, it's, it's dancing on skates. So we'll be seeing more lifts that's right. Um, the dance skaters can't do those. They have restrictions. You know, in 84, not only were they the national champions, but they were the world champions and the Pan American champions in the Paris events. And in 83, the national junior pair champion. They've got quite a track record behind them, which it, obviously it shows here. This is called a press lift to a chair lift and now to a cartwheel position. Three positions in one lift. With a little added twist to the end. You know, when you've won the world championships a number of times like John and Tammy have, it's very easy to become complacent, to feel that we're good enough, we've won before, we can win again with what we have. But I see that John and Tammy have gone home this year and they've really worked and they're better than they were last year, even with all of their victories. That's really nice to see. And that's why they're first place coming into tonight's final. Here's a, an original variation on a pair spin with her leaning back on an inside forward edge. This is called an inverted airplane. Okay, let's go with everything with but one hand to a helicopter. Hmm. Competitive roller skating at its finest. You know, you don't have to compete in roller skating to enjoy it. 30 million Americans participate in roller skating just for the fun of it. Debbie, you'll be spreading the word on the subject of roller skating nationally as their spokesperson, as I understand it. Yes, you know, roller skating has been sanctioned by the Heart Association and the President's Council on Physical Fitness as a great way for cardiovascular development. When you see the strength that it takes and see the, the muscle development, you understand why it's been sanctioned. You know, without a doubt, you'll be seeing this pair at the 1987 Pan American Games, which are going to be held right here in Indianapolis, Indiana, from the 7th to the 13th of August in 1987. So if you'd like to see this in person, should, people should come out. Yes. And support roller skating it's and support the Pan American Games. As exciting as it is on television, live, you, it can't compare when you see it live. We will be seeing John Arishida and Tammy Giroux in Bogota, Colombia. This is an incredible performance. Just wonderful. Mm. Mm. Wow. I'm 
I'm so impressed, I can't tell you, Whoa. with their improvement and their maturity. John Arishida, Tammy Giroux. Can't be done any better.